Hello everyone, welcome back into this tutorial on Informatica MDM. To this tutorial, we are going to see how to delete a record or multiple records from MDM Hub using SIF web service or SIF API. We know that when we install Informatica MDM, we also get the granular web service generated. Of course, we have to go to the SIF manager in MDM Hub to generate it. It will give us it will give us actually the endpoint URL and using the endpoint URL and the WSDL definition we can generate the the SOAP AI project. So this is a simple SOAP AI project we created. Inside that there is a uh, batch called as execute batch delete. So you can by default it will create one request. Other uh, uh, if you want to multiple requests you have to just right click and create a new request. So it will generate here. The request will look like simple. So this is a delete. Uh, this is a delete web service or a delete operation. It requires username, password, ORS ID. The other uh, component, if you are not using security payload, you can ignore that. You can remove that. If you are not using a uh, synchronous uh, calls, you can ignore this also. But the important thing is uh, this table name. So what is the table name? What is the source table name? So for example, this table name is a base object of which we are going to delete the records. Source table name is nothing but we have to provide the records from the XREP table of corresponding base object. So what this table co might contain? This table requires at least one column that is row id xref or we need to have the pk source and source system these two columns so combination of pk source and source system we need to have in the source table or we, sh we should have the row id xref so this way uh, this is called the source table using this table the records will be deleted from xref as well as from the base object it tells us whether re you want to recalculate bbt of course as per our name we have to mention this if the, there are trust enable columns if there is cascading like if you have like parent and child like the party and address and if you're deleting record from the party table you might need to delete the record from the address table also so cascading is required in that case if there is no cascading required you can just mention false override history so it will just override the history if it is enabled the problem with this is once you get rid of the history, you will not be able to recover that record at any time. Purge history, it is just going to completely delete the history, it will not going to recover. That is the aspect. So this is the sample uh, schema structure or the request structure. Now we are going to try to delete one of the record. But before deleting a record, let's see what are the things we need. So we of course need one base object table. So we have this base object table. Let me execute and show you the data. So this has some records. We also need to check the XREP. So this is the XREP and it it has also the corresponding record. So we can see there are a couple of records present. What we'll do, uh, let's, let me draw first because I already created. So I'm just dropping this. Now what we'll do, we'll execute this query. So what this query is, we have to create a table CBO party except deletion or delete for deleting the record. This is like the <coughs> source table in the request. It is temporary table. Once your process is done, you can drop this table. This table is get created with the um, column name Roid XREP, which is coming from the XREP. So this is going to select the Roid XREP and I'm going to pull just one record. So if you run this query, it will just pull one record. Let me show you that. So I can see only one and that ID is one. Now I'm going to execute this create statement. Just select it. And at the top, there is a run script comma, uh, button is there. Just click that. And this will run the script and table CBO party except del created. In order to verify the records in this delete table, just run this and see uh, yes the raw xrep is present and value is one we as i mentioned earlier 
at least we need row id xref column with the corresponding value or we should have the pk source and the row id system columns in order to achieve the deletion so now we see that there is a data in the delete table we'll see in the view party uh, first of all we we'll see the view xref what is the row id xref uh, what are the column corresponding to row id xref1 so we can set the pk source is 9003 and row id object is 1 so if you go in the base object and run this query we will get the record so this is the record present in the base object now we got the record and let me show you one more thing with row id xref there is only one record back because that is a unique column in the xref so row id xref is 1 that is only one column and the record has the party name as a den hal1 something like that so what we are going to do we will exit our api and we will see whether this record get deleted from xref as well as from base objects now if i run the row id object one it is going to delete this record also so i'm going to open this opi tool and i already prepared request it as a username password the rsid table name is base object name it's a cbo party source table is cbo party xref deletion you can give any name there is no restriction but just for the simplicity i just end it with the del recalculate baby it is i mentioned true cascading is false because i do not have the parent child relationship so i mentioned false override history false and purge history false so i'm going to keep history instead of purging it so you have to just prepare this query and just execute <clears throat> so now you, you got the response it says message is successful retention uh, retention code is zero that means it's successful and now other values so one record got deleted from xref as well as from base object so you are getting this information now how can you go back and check the database so i will go back and will first verify xref whether the record present with throid xref1 and I, I get the zero record that means the record is deleted even if i check in the base object the record is also deleted from there so this is the way we can delete the record now assume that you have like thousands of records to delete can you do that yes we can do that we just deleted one record suppose assume that we have to delete uh, four record uh, three records so i'll just mention four here you can use equal to also the condition i'll just drop this and recreate it's not required to recreate always um but in in your case you can just reinsert but the existing record you have to keep somewhere like backup or like completed records so i just ran this create statement let's see how many records present in delete section or delete table so we have the four record two three four so i'll just check here in i'm going to write an inquiry so two three and four are the row id xref where the actual data is present so i'm going to execute it and i will see the record so tom mary and mary one so these are the uh, records present and the row id objects are two three four again so i'll just see here row id object in two three and four so these are row id xref and row id objects are matching but this is not the always the same case uh it might vary sometimes so there are some records in the base objects also so i executed first step is execute this deletion uh, table and populate that table and verify the records are present in the xref and bo and then execute this queries so we'll see what will happen so i'm just executing so now we can see there are three records got deleted from xref three records deleted from base object so it is giving some information also how many records you are processing again you can go back and check you will write xref with the two three four you will not see but we'll see the other records now you can see the write xref two three four are not present that means those are still deleted also i'm going to check the write object two three four 
and this record also not present in the base object that means it is successfully deleted so by this way actually you can delete the record now what will happen uh, suppose you have 5 million sub record which you want to delete you will get the timeout error so in order to fix such a timeout error what you have to do is go to the file go to the preferences it will take us to another screen and use this HTTP setting on the left hand side you can have the multiple settings like proxy setting SSL WSDL UI we are not worried about all those settings but take for the HTTP because that is the request it is sent through the SIF call now here you can see a uh, couple of properties such as header or the th chunking threshold or bind address socket timeout so out of this the socket timeout is important that is in millisecond put some value with higher like something like this so that your request will not fail rather it will continue to execute so your SOAP API will not show like it has a problem it it will not uh, internally behind the scene your request might be running but on SOAP you screen you will see the timeout so you will not get the response on your uh, in your SOAP API so in order to avoid such cases mention the socket timeout with a higher value it will just keep your SOAP API working or running and once the process is completed and if it falls within that timeout then it will it will, it will give you the more proper response in normal real time it takes like around 10 to 15 minutes to process 1 million record but it depends on your environment also but that is an on an average value uh, you can try from your end if any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of video another thing the all the details which we are discussing here and also details about the api and the sample are also available on my blog so you can check out my blog, the blog information is mentioned here. Thank you again. Have a nice time.